What is going on guys? John here from John's Fishing Channel. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, out fishing today, I've got a musky rod and a big old musky bucktail that I'll be fishing. I also have my two bass rods with me, so I'm going to throw this musky bait for about an hour, then do some bass fishing, and then go back to throwing this musky bait. Hopefully I get a fish in the boat today, um, bass or musky, but it's cold out today. It's about 60 degrees right now. The water temperature is 70 degrees, so I've got that going for me. It's overcast. It's a little breezy. Um, but let's see what happens. I'm hoping to maybe catch a muskie because it's really cool out and they kind of like that cold weather temperature. There goes a bald eagle flying off in the distance across the lake. They don't really like to hang out. <laughs> when they see you coming, they fly away. Wonder why. They're not like they're in danger. Tell you what, the best bird I've ever eaten was bald eagle. Oh, loon is tasty. But bald eagle, let me tell you, that's just something else. JK, JK. All right, fish on. Ah, well, not ah. <laughs> I'm glad I caught a fish, but it's just a bass. Just a bass, not a muskie. I figured it wasn't a muskie because it, you know, it hit it and it kind of, it didn't, it didn't fight the way a muskie would fight. It fought the way a uh, crap doodle mind a little bass who thinks he's bigger than he really is would fight <laughs> poor kenobi he got left at home didn't he because he didn't want to get in the boat he missed it but i think that's a good sign that the bass are eating you know the bait that i'm using because i think that leads me to believe that possibly just maybe a muskie would be eating the same bait the weather forecast for today it's only supposed to be 64 degrees, but man, if those clouds just burned off, which they don't in Minnesota, they do in California, because it gets so hot, it would be a wonderful day. It'd be so nice out here. All right, so now, uh, hi Thor. I'm doing a little trolling. I just got my bait out behind the boat, and I'm just kind of slowly trolling down the shoreline here. I'm gonna troll down and around to the end here and then start fishing again. All right, so I've got Dog Wonder in the boat now. I don't know how much longer I'll keep this up. I'm not really seeing anything. Let's see, we pop a few bass here next to my favorite tree. Windy out. Bite. It's cool because I can see it. It's so clear I can see it moving fish takes it you know you kind of see it just jet left or right like right there fish on nice fish nice fish There we go. Nice fish. Whoa. <laughs> nice. Not very big, but he's in there. Thor, no biting the fish. Only licking. See if we can get one more. They're in there. Let's see if we can get the big mama to bite. There we go, that's a decent one. Nice fish, huh? got to be about 17 inches. He's bleeding, so I don't want to measure him. 16 inches. Uh, hopefully he survives. Got him in the gills. All right, so one of my favorite logs in the lake is right ahead of me. I'm going to cast out to it. It's right there. 
There's usually some decent sized fish on this log. I already got a fish on. I don't think it's very big. A little resistance. Not a bad fish. Nice. Oh man, close to this log. I didn't want to get close to it. Fish on. Not bad, probably about 10 inches. All right, so I'm down here around the point, just fishing my worms. I could drop a frog into here. Might try that once or twice. Um, so far I haven't caught anything. I had one bite. That's a weed, that's not a fish. Unless it's a weed in the fish, fish in the weeds. I guess it's a fish in the weeds. <laughs> it's the first one down here anyways. bad. Oh, 13, 14 inches I would imagine. It survived a musky bite. Strong fish. There's one. He's in a little bit deeper water. Pull him kind of off the end of the weeds here. Could be the same fish. No, it's not. Doesn't have the mark you did, the last one did. Same size though. All right, so I'm at the end of the lake here. I'm gonna wrap this up pretty quick. I was just a couple of weed lines I wanted to fish down here. I've been catching a lot of small fish. Didn't record the last three or four. Uh, Cause I actually took my head cam off cause I was talking on the phone, but. This is great water down here. I caught a really large bass down here once, but it swam under the boat and my line broke off. It was pretty disappointing. So that was weird. I was reeling it in full speed and a fish, I actually hit it on top of the water halfway back to the boat. And then I threw it out to where he hit it and I caught him. <laughs> it's an aggressive little fish. Yes, it is. It's just hungry, man. We don't get a lot of food down here. We don't get a lot of opportunity to be on John's fishing channel because you never fish down here, man. Nice little bass. Ugh. <laughs> Look at Kenobi. It's getting windy and cold out. I don't know how much longer I'm gonna fish. It's about lunchtime for me. So I'll probably make five or six more casts here and then probably call it quits for the day. Oh wow, an eagle just died. either dive bombed a fish or a loon. I didn't quite see what it was, but I also have on another fish, so not very big. Getting a lot of these nice medium sized ones today. Nothing gigantic. Fish out. These worms really like fly up the line on these hooks. Same size fish. Oh man, he's got the hook buried in him. Oh, there it is. Fish on. He took it as I was reeling it up. Try not to get hooked. Thanks, fish. All right, one more cast. Call it a day right off the point here and see who's home. Oh man, well, what a day of fishing. You know, I had a great time out in the water with Thor and Kenobi. 
Got a lot of bass today. Didn't really catch any muskie, which has been disappointing. But I'm going to get some lunch, wrap things up here. Thanks for watching, guys. I'm John from John's Fishing Channel. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, favorite this video, and we'll see you next week.